It's time to go out and become a wombat, trying to build or demolish these little towers. And we will do this with our eyes closed and with one hand we're trying to build these towers and tear them down if you are a bad, bad wombat. This is Hand to Hand Wombat, a game for three to six players from the developers of Exploding Kittens. I am going to show you how to set up this game and how to play it. In this game there's two different game modes. You have the basic one and you have the more advanced ones, where you will use different cards. I will show you how to play the basic one and then I will go through the advanced cards. But now, let's take a look at the setup. We need to start by mounting these three stands together. Make sure that they really sit like they're supposed to, so they don't fall off mid-game. Then we put them in the box in this pattern. Next, each player gets a reference card. You have scoring on one side and the different roles on the other side. Now these roles are used in the advanced game. And the reference card should be placed in front of you. Next we take a timer and we preset it for 90 seconds, meaning a minute and a half. Now make sure that you have a lot of sound and vibration on this device because you will not be able to see when the time runs out. We do not activate the timer just yet but place it face up on the table so we are ready when we need the timer. Next we need to take the scorecard and place it next to the box. We take these two tokens and we place them on the start location on the scorecard. Now we need to take as many Wombat cards as we are players. This is a four player game, so we take four Wombat cards. Now one of these cards should be a Wicked Wombat. The red one being the Wicked ones. And remember that the one I'm showing you now is the basic game. So the rest of the cards should only contain the basic Wombats. These are now shuffled and then we place one card in front of each player faced down. Now the players are of course allowed to look at the card to see if they became the wicked wombat or if they became the good wombat, meaning the other green ones. But you cannot show this for the other players. This means that now you know which role you have but the other players will not know it. The last thing we need to do before we start to actually play the game is to fill up the lid with these tiles. These are the tiles that we will use to start to build the towers. Now when we start playing the game we will start the timer. Remember you have 90 seconds and if you are the good wombat, meaning these ones here, the green ones, well then your mission is to build a complete tower starting with the biggest tile in the bottom, going all the way up to the smallest one. But if you are the bad, bad wombat, meaning this one here, the red one, well your mission is to destroy these towers. And you can do this in different ways. You can, for example, put one hand on the top of these towers to block out the other players. You can take these tiles and keep them in your hand so the other players can't find them. You can talk really really loud to confuse the other players. You may even twist and turn this box so the other players have a hard time finding where these little tops are. You can take away tiles that have been placed. You can place the wrong tiles on top starting with the small one for example and so on. There's a lot of things that you as the bad wombat can do. Now when you place these pieces on the towels you are not allowed to see. Meaning that you should have one hand in front of your eyes and only using one hand to place these towels. So that is what you can do. But what can't you do? Well, you can't open your eyes, of course. Now that is cheating. You are not allowed to see what you are actually doing or what the other players are doing. And you are not allowed to use more than one hand. You have one hand on your eyes and the other one in the box. You are allowed to communicate and you are allowed to give tiles to the other players 
if you can, but you are not allowed to take tiles from the box and place them in front of you on the table. If you take anything out of the box, you need to keep it in your hand in that case. And of course, you cannot flip the whole box over, pouring everything out on the table, or intentionally removing one of these towers from the box. Because then the game is pretty much ruined, right? So we have done the setup. All players know what they can or cannot do, and we have received a little card here so we know if we belong to the good or the bad moon bats. Now, before we start playing our first game, it might be a good idea to just try this out a little bit, because this might look simple to you, but it's actually quite hard. So before we go live playing the game, just try to put a hand on your eyes and do the little tile placement before you go live. But when we are ready to go live, we need to start the timer. Place a hand on our eyes and now we have 90 seconds to either build a tower or sabotage the towers. Now when we look at these towers, we can see that there are some dots on each of the different tiles. This is to help us when we have our eyes closed, building the towers. The one with six of these little dots should be in the bottom, going all the way up to the one that only have one. So when we build this, we can use this to help us guide us on how the tower looks and which tile we should place next. Well, when the timer rings, this round is over and it's time for us to see if we have got any scores. If we have managed to build three complete towers meaning three towers with all of these tiles in the right order, well, the good Wombats would receive two points. And we will show this by moving this little token up to number two on the score tile. But if only two towers are completed, the good team would only get one point. And if two towers are not completed, the bad Wombat would actually get one point. And if all three towers would be uncompleted, the bad Wombat would get two points instead. If a team ever would get three points, well, that team would win the game. But if no team have managed to get three points, we would instead go into a voting phase. So if no team have reached three points, we go into a voting phase. To vote, we need to count down from three. And then we need to point at whoever we think is the bad Wombat. If we are unsure or we don't really know, well, we just point at the roof instead. This is not the final voting. This is just a pre-voting to get the discussion going. Now we can talk a little bit about what we think and who we think is the Wombat and why. After this, we would go into the final voting. When all players are done discussing, we are ready to do the final voting. And we will do this for countdown from 3. And then point at the person that we want to vote out of the game. Again, if we are still not sure, we point at the roof instead. If more than half of the players that are still in the game votes on the same person, well, that player is eliminated from the game and cannot build towers anymore. I mean, they can still sit around the table, they can still talk with other players and discuss the game, but they are not a part of the building itself. If there is a tie, however, meaning that two players get the same amount of votes, well, no one leaves the game. And if the bad Wombat is voted out of the game, well the game is not over yet, the game will still continue. Meaning that once we are done with the voting, we need to reset this little play area here. Put the tiles back into the box. And now we are ready to go another round. And this is the way the game would go on, until one team eventually gets 3 points and wins the game. But this was the basic mode, remember? We still have the advanced mode, and the advanced mode is played out just like I showed you now. 
but now there will be different roles in the game. Well, first we have the Generous Wombat. The Generous Wombat cannot place any tiles on the towers. This one can only give bricks to other Wombats or put them back in the box. So your new focus now is to talk to the players and listen to what kind of tiles they need to construct their towers. Then we have the Needy Wombat. This one here cannot pick up any tiles from the box. They can only take the bricks from other Wombats or other towers. The Confident Wombat can place a tile on the towers, but they cannot remove it once they have placed it. They need to leave it as it is, even if they know it is wrong. But you can still talk to the other Wombats and have them replace it for you. Lastly, we have the Confused Wombat. The Confused Wombat starts in the good team. But when the bad team has two points, well, this sucker changes teams and joins the bad side. If the bad side ends up winning, well, then you are the winner. If they lose, well, sucks to be you. Hand to Hand Wombat is a quite fun and stressful game for the whole family. I mean, you could be 90 years old or you could be 5 years old and you could still play this game and have a really good time. You can set this up on the table in no time. The players will learn the game rules pretty much in minutes and then you are ready to start playing. It is a lot of fun and it will give you an evening full of laughs and also some stressful moments where you doubt your ability to pretty much do anything because this is harder than it looks like. I mean when you see this you think how hard can it be to just place it on that tower but it is quite hard. And then you have the timer as well, stressing you out. You try to feel on the edges how many little dots it has and you only have one hand to do this with. At the same time as you need to place it on the correct tower in the correct order that has the correct tiles placed already. It's a lot of fun, but damn it stressed me out. There you have it my friend, that was Hand to Hand Wombat. A quick, fast, funny, Frustrating sometimes game for the whole family for casual players for party games in between meals You name it this game can fix it for you This is a cool game if you want to know more about it Well check out the links down in the description and it will take you to whatever web page you would like to visit to know more if you like my video here, well, give me a thumbs up, give me a little comment, maybe subscribe to the channel, whatever you want to do. But most importantly, my friend, please remember to keep on spreading that board gaming love I know you all have. Peace out, my friend.